So here is, this is formal point slope form. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't have to go with this, even though it's not the way that I do point slope form. So I'm gonna stick with this just because it's the way that it's done on the assignment. Um, this is good if, if they've given us only two points to find the equation for, or if they've given us a point and the slope, which is why it's called point slope form. So why can we do it with two points? Because just like we saw in 1.3, if they give us two points, we should be able to find the slope and feel good about it, okay? So you can see with, with ordered pairs though, you have the x1 and y1, that represents the x value and y value of some ordered pair that they, they have to give us. Now if you're given two ordered pairs, you just have to choose one of them to use. So find the equation line passing through these two points, write the equation in point slope form and then slope intercept form. So real quick, we have a point slope form. So this is our, our point slope form, but the thing about this is they've only given us two points, not the slope. So it doesn't matter which point you choose to put into this, uh, uh, this form, but we still, need, we still do need the slope. So I'm going to find it with the slope formula. So remember, it kind of sets up like this. Corresponding values have to be directly above and below each other. And uh, I guess to help us see that, it's y values in the numerator, x values in the denominator. That's for both ordered pairs. That's better. All right, so I'm just going to say the first one is our x1, y1. And uh, I, I see that y value there is negative 2, so that goes in the numerator. The x value is 4, so that goes directly into the denominator. Again, they have to be directly above, above and below. Now, of course, if you chose these to be the second one, you just put them over here. It's not going to make a difference for the slope because it's a straight line. So then we have the second uh, ordered pair. We have x2, y2, at least for me anyways. So I have a y value that's negative 38 and then an x value that is positive 8. Uh, so, let's see, I should have got my calculator out already, but I'm ready to put this one in. So, n over d, I have negative 2 minus negative 38. I go to my denominator, I type in 4 minus 8, enter. Oh, it's negative 9. That seems pretty convenient. So, my slope here is negative 9, and that's, that's the m in point slope form there. So I'm just going to say this m right here is negative 9. All right, now we'll fill in the rest of it, um, but we also have x1, y1. Again, it doesn't matter which ordered pair you choose. Since I made it purple, even though it's listed here as x, x2, y2, I'm still going to just stick with the color on this one, okay? Not that it matters which one you choose, but uh, that would make... This x value, again, I'm looking at the x value in that ordered pair is 8. And then its corresponding y value is negative 38. So let's see the rest of it then. I'm going to show y minus negative 38. And this would be equal to negative 9 times x minus 8. Um, I think this would work. But it's possible that on the assignment it may want this simplified. So if you see minus a negative, just change it into a plus sign. I, I believe that would work also. I, I think both would work. I just can't confirm that the first one would. I'm pretty sure they would want the second one, but I think the first one would work. Now that is point slope form. So this would be a box that you've got to fill in on the assignment, all right? Now from here, we can use point slope form in order to create slope intercept form. So that's what we will do. We, it's going to require some principles of equality, though. But first, before we use principles of equality, hopefully we remember that if we see distribution in an equation like this, we should probably do it. So let's go ahead and do that. This, this would be negative 9 times, I, I can show it as 1x. But I also don't want to because that would be our form, right? So negative 9 groups of 1x's would be negative 9x's. And then also negative 9 groups of negative 8's would be positive 72. So here, uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and finish this one. It would still show as y plus a 38 there. And that looks pretty good, but it's just not finished. So right here, we need a, we need a principle of equality because I don't want this 
plus 38 with my y. Um, just to show real quick down here, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So m is the slope and b is the y intercept, okay? Uh, so it needs to take on this form. Of course, m will represent some kind of number, and so, so will b. Uh, and we know m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. That's, that's useful for a graph, but when we're, when we're um, just trying to write it in this format without any graphs, yeah, we have some, some algebra to go through. So uh, let's continue then. This y plus 38, I, I got to get rid of that 38. And by get rid of, I mean zero out, right? So I'm going to subtract 38, not just from one side, but from the other side as well which allows me to drop just the y by itself because the 38 has zeroed out. My negative 9y, uh, sorry, my negative 9x has now dropped into negative 9x still because uh, I had to combine that negative 30 with its like term on the right, which is a constant. It's the constant 72. And while I should do this, I should be able to do this in my head. I can't right now. Yeah, so I got, my calculator will tell, yes, thank you. The calculator tells me it is positive 34. Now, again, this, this, now that I have this in slope intercept form, which is, it didn't exactly match with the way I, I had this here. It's, it's right there. <laughs> but um, if we were to graph this, we now have the y-intercept and the slope, boom. And you could graph it if you wanted to. But remember this, um, on the assignment, this will want both answers. It wants this one and it wants this one. So I should make this point in the video as well. If you had used this ordered pair, you, you should get this same slope intercept form. This, even the point slope form will look different. Of course, you'd have the, the instead of this eight, you'd have negative two. And instead of this, I have that backwards. Instead of this eight, you'd have the four. And instead of the negative 38, you would have had negative two. So yeah, the main point here is, and, and we should get the same equation, right? Because the slope should definitely be the same. Slopes don't change between points because they're straight lines. And then the y-intercept, even no matter which ordered pair you use, it should be um, the same point that goes through the y the y-axis. So.